Hi everyone, Andy Davis again here from Master of Voice, a YouTube channel consisting of reaction videos, a few covers, and videos with information about voice health. Today is another reaction video, and I plan on doing a series of these on this one song, the U.S. National Anthem, The Star Spangled Banner. Today, we're going to be looking at a recent performance of the National Anthem by Ali Stroker. She was singing at the U.S. Open, and I'm excited to hear her sing it. If you don't know much about her, she is actually a recent Tony Award winner and made a bit of press news because she became the first person that utilizes a wheelchair for mobility to actually sing on the Broadway stage and then to go on and win a Tony Award. I read a little bit about her earlier and she had some success years ago as well. Uh, and some of you may remember her from the Glee Project, which was associated with the Glee TV series. And she actually got to be on an episode of Glee back in 2013. So I'm excited to hear her version of the US National Anthem, The Star Spangled Banner. Why vowels? I'm going to pause it right there. She's doing a good job right off the bat. She has some wide vowels going on here. And um, I understand why she was actually won the Tony Award being in the musical Oklahoma, which is a country-based sound, uh, and especially in this recent uh, rendition of the musical Oklahoma. But um, it doesn't surprise me to hear that country twang coming through in the, her version of the national anthem. I enjoy it. Um, I did kind of notice that a common issue with this, and it's happening with her just a little bit, is that the lowest note, oh say, can sometimes be a little out of focus for a lot of people because they are trying to plan on hitting the higher notes near the end in whatever voice they want to showcase at that time. And for some singers, if they want to belt it out near the end, they're going to have to start pretty low and it might actually do them a little bit of disservice with some of the lower notes in the beginning part of the verse. And, and so that happens often. I'm actually, that has happened to me before. And so uh, there are times when those lower sections of this first part of the anthem can lose a bit of focus. This song is about an octave and a half. It's difficult to sing, especially for singers with limited range. I'm not saying she has that, but again, it really is a, about when what part of your voice you want to highlight when we get to the money notes near the end. Let's continue on with her version. our national anthem. It gives me chill bumps every time I hear it. I actually sing it quite often in the local area at certain events. And so I'm excited to be reacting to a series of people singing the national anthem. 
Allie did a great job. Allie made it hers. Um, she belted those last nuts like I thought she would, which is why she pitched it a little bit lower to start out so she could give herself um, a comfort zone to be in there near the end. You know, she does so well um, in my eyes because she is sitting and that really affects your breath support. She obviously has worked to really enhance her breath support to make sure that she can adequately control and sustain the notes she needs to in the proper way of her style. Um, it had a country twang to it and I enjoyed it. And so I hope you enjoyed this reaction to Allie's video. Check her out on other parts of uh, YouTube and the web. And if you enjoyed this video, click like below, hit subscribe, click the bell so you know when I release new content. And I hope you have a great day.